So this little scamps, my red arse cat, um, it just does a really good job in reservoirs. Just another variation of cat whisker, but this little mini lure has served me well for some time. Um, not a hard fly to tie, but the proportions are spot on. And those two contrast colours within the body really do make such a big difference to this pattern, especially come the back end when those brownies and rainbows are triggered on oranges and reds. So let's go ahead and tie it, shall we? I start off with a, a wet fly hooking device, a size 10, Kamazan V175. Um, a uni thread, AO, fire orange, and just come in to a point opposite the barb, just as it starts to turn the corner at the bend. I've then got spring water blue marabou. White, bright, bright white. I take a tiny pinch for the tail. Tiny pinch for the tail. Where on earth did I put my scissors? So I just I trim an end off here. Catch them in. It's where the body's going to stop basically, and where I'm going to get the, the, the wing fibers in so it keeps the body straight, compact, no lumps or bumps. Okay, so that's that bit. I've then got this uh, gel core micro chenille red, and it is a, a really vibrant blood red. Great colour. So, just make sure I've got plenty of orange, but I don't want any white showing through for the marabou. So, get a lot of orange in there. That should be enough. And then, stroke the marabou back. And just get really close, tight turns. You want about a quarter of an inch. It's enough. So there's your red butt section. I've then got this cat green frazzle. I'm just gonna take a small length of that. So it's got UV in the fibers. It's really robust actually, really robust. Just pull the ring back, keep it all tiny. Build that body back up. And then a wrap. Keep the fibres under tension, pull everything back. Another wrap, pull the fibres back like a hackle, everything under tension. And all the way up to your marabou tying in point basically. You can fish this as a booby. I prefer it uh, because of the orange contrast as a mini lure. That's about right there. So what I do is I keep that under tension, lock my thread. A couple more wraps just to lock them. I'm looking for a Stanley knife here. Fritz's and chenilles, I much prefer an, uh, a blade to scissors. So Moisten your fingers just a touch. Stroke some fibres back. Because your head's got to be prominent in this as well. You want your two contrasting colours. Back in again with the marabou. Generous pinch for the wing. Rub it with my thumb and forefinger and roll it round. I prefer to tighten like this and then cut it. Some people cut it first. And then what I do is up, pinch and loop. But I want to make sure my thumb and forefinger it rolls right around the back of the hook. Not one side or the other, not directly on top. I like to cloak the hook. Now I come in with my scissors at 45 degrees. Snip that. And we just got to tidy up the thread wraps. Like I say, you want a decent size head in this. You've got two con um, contrasting bits. The red, but just make sure everything's covered there. The red, but and the bright orange head. That's about right. Stroke some of that back out of the way. Now all we're going to do is we've got to come back, 
I, I tend to do this in two stages. Tail and wing with the tail. Just with my thumb and forefinger. Just like that. The fly is completely cloaked here on the top. That's exactly what I want. I uh, just got to come in, finish the fly off. And a touch of varnish. Keep the marabou well out of the way. I think that's him. I can't see your side. Yeah, that's him. And that's my little red ass cat. Just a great fly coming the back end. All the way through summer, really. But um, the trigger points the red and orange come into play as the fish sort of go into winter feeding mode. I really hope you enjoyed that, folks. If you did, for more patterns and fly fishing, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Take care, folks, and bye-bye.